Hi, I'm Josie, and come along with me for a tour of the Esther B. O'Keefe Innovation Center. We knew that we wanted to have a building on this spot and we needed eight classrooms in this building to continue to grow because we have so many students. We knew that four needed to be for elementary, four needed to be for high school. We're trying to support all of the programs of distinction in high school because when you think about it, that's what it's innovative about the King's Academy is that our students get to try different types of careers before they even get to college. And elementary STEM has been growing, so this will give them a much bigger space for kids to be able to learn about science and technology, engineering, and math. So if you, you notice this room is the art classroom, and one of the reasons we wanted this to be art is because there's natural light coming through the windows. So when you're trying to pick color, it's good that you have natural light to make sure you have a true color. We have um, a big closet space in here to store art supplies and that sort of thing. So this should take elementary visual, uh, visual arts to the next level. Effectively, some of our students test into a gifted program in the elementary, and um, they have been in a classroom down the hall, just a standard classroom. But this classroom has been specially designed for their, their program. If you know about it, it's a very hands-on learning type of thing. So we have tons of materials that these elementary students use in that program. So we have an extra big closet, um, an extra high that will have a lot of shelving in here. So the teacher can keep all of the mess inside the cabinets. There also will be a wall of computers here. So in this room, there's going to be a lot of built-ins for computers down the center and on the walls. There also will be a station at the front for the teacher and they can monitor any of the computers and the activities that are going on from their station as well. Um, the interesting thing about this room and the, the transition between this room and STEM is there's a self-darkening kind of glass that's gonna go in this big open space here. And so basically it can be open that you can see through the two rooms or you can kind of put electrical current through it and fuzz the glass. You can make it um, opaque. The O'Keefe Foundation is the reason that we can have this, this great building. Unfortunately, we lost Claire O'Keefe just a few weeks ago, but she would meet with me for lunch monthly about this building and was so excited about this building. So her legacy will live on as the students uh, get a great education in this building. If you've noticed on all the construction projects we've done, once we top the building out, it's at its highest point. We put the American and the Christian flags on to recognize the fact that we both support God and country at our school. And so we want our students to remember that, number one, they, they belong to God's kingdom and they are also patriotic Americans as well. All right, this is gonna be the future home of Studio 70. So, isn't that great? Look at the height of the ceilings here. So these ceilings are extra high to be able to support a curved wall. Just to walk it with you, it basically will come along here and then it'll curve and then go down that direction for quite a ways. So that would allow a lot of acting space in front of it. So you can imagine the shots you can take from very high to low and moving shots, which should enhance your movies a lot, I would think. So this is Studio 70 here, and across the way would be a computer science lab for high school. And you see that they'll both be glass, so it'll be a very open kind of concept. So in the back here, we're gonna have two um, like sound recording booths that are going to be prefabbed, and then they're gonna slide into the space back here. So they would be soundproof where you can go in and record things. I think it will help both Studio 70 and potentially like music groups and things in uh, the Smith Conservatory, as long as their smaller groups could go in there and also record things as well. Um, I guess as you're editing too, it's nice to have a soundproof area to, to hear your sounds and to add sound effects and that sort of thing. Now this will be um, some benches and things in here to have a smaller classroom. Near and dear to my heart since I'm a CPA, this is a new business classroom that's going to be in here. So, if you know, like our programs of distinction, our business program continues to grow too, and we've added electives. So now we'll, can, we'll still have the existing one uh, business in 208, but we'll have a business classroom here too. Um, this also will feature some glass on the front. 
But in the corner is going to be a nice feature. We're gonna have a finance lab. So one of the things that I felt like we needed to bolster uh, in our business program is the financial liter literacy of our students. And so Merrill Lynch was very, very nice to donate um, their software that they do research on. There'll be a little glassed in room with computers and their software technology that our students can really research any kind of investment. They invest fake money, but at some point they're gonna invest the profits of the coffee corner. It's things that I wish I would have learned as an 18 year old. And I bet these kids' finances will be better for life because of what they learn in that finance lab.